Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Dynasty Scrolls. Today we're going to do some player upgrades and um, briefly talk about the Billionaire event. Um, I actually went in and did my pulls already. Um, to be fair, it's probably not the greatest of events in terms of value for money or value for gold. Um, Honestly, the only reason that I did it was to acquire the uh, 20 shards I needed for the Cyan Rook. Um, if you didn't see the previous events, uh, when you do get the Expedition, uh, it's basically like a corresponding... Eh, it looks very similar to this. It's like... Uh, it's a rebate? I feel like that's the word they used last time. It's like a rebate event. Uh, however, the reward was actually Cyan Rook shards. So yeah, make sure you're um, you're not blowing your currency like I see a lot of people say they do. Make sure you keep hoarding up these uh, currencies for events, specifically the rebate events. So I believe it was a premium summon and you need to do 60 or 50 in order to get the 60 shards of Cyan Rook. So make sure you're, you're continually saving those, like just don't waste them, keep them. Um, there are always events that you can use them for. It is definitely worth being patient in terms of making progress like that. Uh, probably just touching on a little bit of well, what else is going on. So make sure you're finishing your behemoth raids. I'll be doing the rest of those at some point today. Skip the gold sale. It's not worth it. Um, but yeah, pretty much the flash sale will give you a chance to buy three more dice, which I did, and gives you some daily gold. So make sure you snag that. In terms of the event itself, um, it's a little bit underwhelming. Uh, granted, you can get some free gold from it. So, I mean, it's worth doing, but in terms of would I spend 9,000 ignits uh, from, from a personal perspective, the only reason I did it was to get the silver mice. And after 40 pulls, so I bought the... Um, where is the op obtain? So I bought the, th the, th the 30 dice for... 300 gold each so you can buy a maximum of 30 which is 9k gold you get six a day which is okay um so i did buy the the, the maximum thing so i did like what is it 39 or 40 i think it was like 39 pools or something like that i got 21 silver mice and 49 of the bronze mouse um yeah so we'll, have, we'll talk about the probability. Um, it gets really confusing. There's a, a big ass wall of fucking text here. <laughs> so bear with me. But essentially uh, the game itself is you use dice, you get bronze, silver or gold mice. You get a many events that drop, which are kind of, they, they proc as, uh, there'll be a little red dot up there in your far right and it'll say expedition. Um, it's like rocks is a paper or a quiz. Um, they're very easy. Uh, there is no right or wrong really way of doing it. You always get gold. Okay. So even if you win or you lose, you're going to get gold for doing it. So it's nice. In terms of the shop, it's only there for the event, which is like most of the events that only appears like that. Um, you can probably save your bronze and silver and gold mouse or mice. I'd say that the event currencies don't go away or disappear. Uh, so you can always save them up for the next time. I'm not 100% sure about that though, uh, but I feel like it's very similar to other events where you can keep saving the currency for them. Now, in terms of probability of drop rate, the gold mice only has a 0.1% chance to get it. Your silver mouse has a chance to drop between 1 and 10 of them, so you can get a maximum of 10 in one, one like, dropping. <laughs> Uh, but it's a very, very low percentage chance. It's like 0.6%. Same with the bronze, you get between 1 and 10%. Uh, sorry, 10 um, mice to drop, but they have obviously a significantly higher drop rate than the silver ones. And to be fair, you need a lot more silver ones than you do need bronze ones. So I can see why they do it. There's like an additional chance to get the gold jackpot, which is 66. So 6,666 which is the same percentage as the gold mouse, which is 0.18%. And of course, the mini event, which is the rock, paper, scissor, or the quiz event has a 4% uh, chance of dropping. In terms of the silver mouse, there is a guarantee that you will get one, uh, one to drop every 10 times. So that's 
a chance for it to drop. Then, of course, you have the probability on that drop chance between one and twenty, uh, one and ten. So you could you get you get again a guaranteed silver mouse drop. Um, but of course, there's always that probability within that drop chance to get between one and ten of those little silver mouse. Uh, mouse and mice and fucking all of that. <laughs> but anyway, you basically need a hundred. Uh, uh, what is it? It's I believe you actually need a lot more than that. So, uh, you need three hundred and forty. No, you need a hundred silver mice to get it, which which is guaranteed from a three hundred and forty attempts. Okay, that's just expensive, expensive, expensive. But as you can see. You do have a chance to get the Cyan Rook and the Karkadon. Uh, so if you are lucky enough in order to get yourself a gold mouse, that's pretty cool. Now you can't exchange up, unfortunately. Uh, you can own, like, so 10 of, 10 of these bronze mice, you can't exchange it for 4 silver, okay? You would exchange 4 silver and get 10 bronze mouse. It's a trap. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's a fucking trap. Uh, you can use the silver mouse for the beast equipment. Um, they go up in terms of grades and tiers. Uh, so you get one of these to select from, uh, which is cool. This is like the premium beast, uh, beast equipment right there. And you do get bonuses if you equip uh, three of the same set. So, of course, everyone's aiming to get uh, the whole set there. Now, in terms of the epic, which you use your little bronze mouse from, you can get beast pools or you can get shards for these, you know. Actually cost you 40 to get a, a full completion. Interesting. So, everyone should have epic, uh, epic pets if they do this event. Huh. And here I am wasting gold on them. Anyway, food for thought. Don't waste gold. Wait for this event to drop and just uh, hopefully get enough bronze mouse to do it. Um, honestly, I still stand by my, my initial conclusion. It's it's probably not worth getting those, um, spending your 9k gold for it. Unless, of course, you are 20 shy of getting a legendary. Then, by all means, do it. Um <laughs> Then it's worth it, obviously. But uh, yeah, uh, as you can see, maybe I just had really bad RNG. Who knows? I'm happy I got you, though. I'm happy we got you. So in terms of the beasts now, we have most of them. Uh, I need to unlock level 80 so I can equip them. Um, I probably will swap out that for you. The only reason being is this one's power is actually better than the beast's. So when an enemy hero dies, deals 344% of beast damage, uh, ignores defense to back row enemies. I feel like these two kind of trigger very well together. Um, so I definitely will be uh, using this one instead of the mechanical uh, beast. Uh, that's kind of like the oh shit moment. Like one of your team members dies and you kind of, it's like a revenge. Um yeah, I think I'll be using that. I may even uh, regress the other one. So let's see if we can recycle beasts. We can. Does it cost me anything? No. Okay. Sounds good. Um, I'm not going to use the Cyan Rook because I just, I don't need to. <laughs> Uh, it's just, you know, it's, there's no point in doing that. I'll probably just level this guy to 30 and stop if I can get there. All right, cool, cool. What level are you on? 57. Let's get you maybe to, no, just shy of 60. But that's cool as well. We'll upgrade some of these guys because why not? We're already here. Um, we did get lots of these. I forget where we even got these from. I feel like we got these from the beast hunt themselves. So we'll go to level 22. And of course you can regress these later on anyway. Okay. I think we're done with the beast sides of things. 
let's look at upgrading some heroes. Let's look at doing some of these um, bag pullings, I guess. <laughs> Randoms, yeah, let's just pull them out. Because at the end of the day, what are we even hoarding these things for? There's not really too much else to do in terms of that. Equi equipment gear, I mean, that's just probably going to sit my bag. Um, we can probably have a look to see where we can make some adjustments. All right. Let's have a look at my gear. No, no, not that. I want to look at my gear. Again, this is not my gear, but... I guess we're, we're, we're stuck at that one. <laughs> All right. How many of you do I need to make you universal? I've got 30 and I need 58. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we're closer to you than I would have thought. Let's go into my bag. I'm sure I've got some hero shards in my bag, right? We can get this guy to seven star today. I did notice some people were like, or oh, this one gentleman was like, hey, we want to see you, uh, I want to see you rank up some stuff. So hopefully you're watching because <laughs> this is me starring up. Okay. So we're going to do that now. Team wise, I feel like we should be able to rank you up. Yeah. Rank you up. So there we go. We've got how to seven star, which is nice. Did boost a little bit of his uh, power up in terms of um, that. Um, in all honesty, I'm not... Uh, <laughs> I don't really use him. Uh, I just had him slotted in there as an example for the uh, other one. So... We are actually going to change him back to my preferred hero, which is Yuji. And you can go back there. So another person also asked, so what's the point of using support heroes? Well, your support heroes actually um, are like a cheat way to boost your power level. So they actually, your power level does boost based on the level of your support heroes. Um, so yeah, <laughs> if you're wondering why, this is why. So when they're in the reserve, they don't count towards your power level, but when they're in your actual support, they do count towards your power level. So we're actually waiting for some of these legendary heroes to become available. I know Lu Bu is one of them. I know Zhao Xi is another one. So, or is it Zushi? Zhao Xi or Zushi? Now I'm curious. Uh, what does he look like? Where's my warlord? Actually, it's not that one, is it? You'd figured it'd be that one too, right? Oh, I guess we can do you. Now that we had him at seven star, makes sense. What is his name? <sighs> it's Yaoshi. Is Yaoshi? This guy, the magic ball man. He hasn't appeared yet, which I'm think I feel like that's pretty sus. You know what I mean? Like they gave us this other event, but they're not going to drop that guy. Hmm. But anyway, I've digressed again. <laughs> off topic, off topic. Um, I guess we can level some of these guys up as well. Um, I did think that I would stick to my original plan of leveling uh, this guy. I ranking this guy up. So I need 140 of his shards. And I kind of want to aim to get them to all rank 4. So focus on one to rank four, then another to rank four, and then the other one. I don't know if I actually have enough shards to get them all to rank four today, my legendaries, but we are definitely going to be attempting that. So I need, I need, how many do I need? I need eight plus that. So I need 118. I need 118 Zerjus. Zerjus come to me. And let's take note of my power level at the moment. It's 196. I guess we can just go you. Oh, we got 120. 
Oh, very nice. I forgot it's actually 120. Yeah. All right. Well, you paid for yourself. Congratulations. <laughs> you paid for yourself. I love that. So now we're at Talent 4 Unlock. Uh, we boosted ourselves up about 4 million for that one. Um, maybe a little bit more. I've already forgotten where we're at. Somebody, or, or, when you look back in this video, tell me how many we actually boosted up. Maybe I'll have to look back before I pull up the title. <laughs> but anyway, we, we did boost that up. So, um, Dao Chan, nah, I don't really like you. So, um, I grant, yeah, I, I'm being biased here. I just, I don't feel like you d contribute as much to the team as a legendary should. Um, you probably need higher, uh, chance rate for your, um, your silence though. But I want to do you. You, sir, is what I want to do. Before we do that, can I actually upgrade? I can. Okay, all right. So I'll come back and I'll do him to stage seven. Um, some of these other ones I can't do to stage seven today. I don't have enough stamina, but we'll be doing that as well. Going to give you the full, um, the full tour of upgrade. So I only need 25. So let's go to 25 of you to begin with. And I am going to do it nice and slow, one at a time, just so I don't miss anything or mess up. So we need 25 of you. Oh, yeah, I've, I, I feel like we're going to have enough. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm, I'm pumped about this because I reckon we're actually going to have enough to do this in terms of, um, why am I clicking you? You look so similar to this guy. It's, it's uncanny. You could be brothers. You probably are brothers. All right, so we're going to get you one star. And uh, that boosted us a little bit, like one to two million up. Um, so then how many do I need you to get you to two star? 60. Okay. Uh, we probably are going to cut into this though. So for you, it's going to tell me I need 60. It is definitely satisfying doing this. And then I feel like I need 80 for the next one. 100. Fuck, 100. All right. <laughs> I was I was over ambitious. I don't think we're going to have enough to do all of them to plus four. Um, so we're going to get 80 out of you. And of course, we're going to go all Warlord. Imagine if, imagine if I press the wrong one. Imagine if I opened up like Wu or something in, instead of Warlord. <laughs> Don't say that. Don't jinx it. Uh, but imagine how bad would that be? Um, so how many else did we need? We need 20 more. All right. Turn to my bag. Get 20 more. 20 more of you, my friend. We definitely do have enough to get him to four star. So we're going to do that. Hey, that was a big boost. I like that. Um, so how many do we need now? I feel like we need 140. Shit. Then 140. All right. We are definitely chewing into our resources. <sighs> If Ven robbed me of my chance of getting, uh, that fucking, <laughs> if he robbed me of my opportunity to get everyone to four star, I'm going to be pissed. I think we're good. I think we're good to go, uh, maybe to two star for the other one, uh, Dao Chan, um, Wait, do we need another 20? Shit. Maybe? To two star? Alright. Here we go. Let go. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I wonder what his talent does. What does his talent do at four star? Damage to all enemies, 35% chance, reduce rage, and then increases our evasion by 20%. Love that. Love that. 
So we're at 220 million. Very good. Very good. Uh, now, last but not least, of course, we must do Dao Chan. Um, how many do we need? We need 30 shards. I feel like we might be able to get two stars on her. No, we're not. We're not going to be able to get two stars. We're only going to be able to get one. That's okay. Well, that is okay. I think we're halfway to getting the next one for her. But at least we start her up once. Yeah, so we need 60 of those shards. How are we going in terms of VIP? We're over, we're over, we're over halfway there. And what do we get? We don't really get anything of use though. I would have preferred the next one that gives us <laughs> one of these. Um, but yeah, that's fine. We're over halfway there. All right, let's do some upgrades. Uh, let's get everyone, let's try to level everyone up. To 73. And I feel like we should be, we should be close to getting this guy leveled all the way up to seven. Um, I think I've farmed enough of the ones above this gold one, like the crimson version of it. So this is kind of why I decided to blitz now instead of doing progress on the story mode. But eventually I'll swap back to that. Uh, when we when we start to run low on gold, I'll be swapping back to that strategy. Um, but like I said, you need a couple of hours to do it and you need quite a bit of stamina saved up. We've got 50 pills so far. So... You know, it's def there's definitely some stuff in the bank ready to, to go. Uh, I will use some of them just so I can level this guy up to 7 star. I think I'll need about 16. <laughs> Give or take, I think I'll need about that much, to be honest. It does get rather ridiculously expensive to get each of these nodes. Um, as you can see, like you just, you blitz through so much of this stuff. All right. So we're good to go. It's 3k of these upgrade stones. Um, so let's see what we get. So he's 7 star now. Uh, it didn't boost him too much in terms of overall power. I wonder what else we can do. I think we can upgrade you to treasurer. This is another reason why I always say save these fucking pills because they're... You need quite a lot as you progress higher in the Meridian tree, the Hero Star Activate tree. Um, so most will be at Wolf, and then the rest of it, yeah. So most of them are at Wolf, and then I've got a couple at Treasury. Um, I feel like I can probably... I guess I can move, I can progress a little bit in terms of my avatar. Um... At the moment, I'm just leveling up this one. I will probably will regress this when I actually get the uh, VIP 10 one. Um, but I also wanted to do this today as well, because a lot of people don't know, but there's actually a Wild Axe one that's available in the shop. So if you don't have any avatar, uh, epic avatars that you're currently, you're currently using and you are not a VIP player, um, this is not a bad option in terms of uh, single target damage. It does column damage as well. Um, so don't feel like, you know, you don't have options. I would go ahead and buy this out. I'm just going to do it anyway, because why not? I also want to see what sort of set bonus you get, because this is the set bonus to, uh, yeah, the other one. So you get plus 8,005% PvP damage reduction. Cool. Very cool. I know a lot of people uh, will buy out these ones in order to get the bonuses, um, the, the combo bonuses. And honestly, that's not a bad thing. I mean, you can buy them out if you want, because at the end of the day, you got quite a lot of the, um, a lot of these currency up there. Uh, I guess we can check out to see 
what other avatar currencies there are available. Where's my avatar? Transformation. So you gotta go in there and activate it. And then you get some bonuses. They actually do give you some minor power-ups. Uh, but in terms of rare, is there anything that is a set bonus for rares? Let's have a look to see. So there's Yang Ling. Uh, I might be able to buy you, Xiao Pi, Xiao Tao, and Lu Bushi. All right. Uh, butchered that enunciation. Don't worry about a thing. Let's see if we got, can get any of these guys. Uh, because this is not a bad way to artificially inflate your... I can't actually see that one. I know what I'm looking for and it's he's not there. This guy's there though. So I might as well, we might as well just buy a couple. Might as well just buy a couple and activate them. Why not? Have some fun, right? Honestly, there's not much else that you do with those uh, Legion coins anyway. I don't think I got any combos out of that, unfortunately. Um, did I? Am I close to any other combos? Nah, not really. So, shall P. Oh, that's right. You can actually. Was there another one that was glow glowing? There was. Zhu Sheng. Zhu Shang and Yu Jin. Zhu Shang and Yu Jin. Let's remember that. Um, Wish Shop. Transform. Ah, so there we go. <laughs> so this is where the shit gets expensive. Um, honestly, probably wouldn't decide to. I, I, I kind of want to save for Dong Zhao uh, overall. I mean, I am tempted to do that, though. <laughs> Don't tempt me, game. Don't do it. Uh, okay, fine. I'll buy, the, I'll buy the cheap one. I'll buy the cheap one. Don't do what I do, people. I'm just doing it now because I want to do some index. <laughs> uh, did we get a combo? I think we did. And, of course, you've got to go in there and activate it. So, all heroes plus... All hero. Oh, okay. So, that's that gives everyone a plus... 3% or stuff, yeah. All right, maybe it is worth doing it. Let me think about this from a constructive point of view. Uh, so you get HP and then defense. Not really that interested. Um, this could be interesting, though. So attack plus magic defense. Uh, or a HP or attack. Wouldn't mind doing these two, Yu Jin and Zhu Shang, then. Maybe we should do that. This is things you should never do, but we're going to do it anyway for quant quality content. <laughs> uh, all right, so it's definitely you. And what was the other one? This guy. Granted, I have not spent a dime on any of this uh, in terms of the... the um, wishing stones like I, I don't spend money on wishing stones so this is all for free essentially but let's go in here let's activate this what did we get we got attack plus five percent for everyone so at 23 million at the moment 230 million 33.3 so that boost that boosts us like three million per that's not bad is there anything else that i can actually activate yang ling or these two Xiao P. Alright, alright. Now we're a bit now we're now we're hooked, everyone. Now we're hooked. <laughs> and we have enough coins to make this happen. Um so we're gonna do these two. And yep, that's it. Wonder what we can get out of three outfits. Alright. That's that's just an odd one. So you get you get like power for doing this, and then you get power for doing this, obviously. And then of course you get the big one, which is everyone gets it. Wow, two forty. And of course we can afford some of the other ones later on. I think we've done all the commons. Don't really have anything lined up for epic, unfortunately. I don't know where to get you. 
probably in the event. But that's not too bad, too. PvP damage reduction. Okay, well, there you go. That was an odd turn of events. <laughs> Wasn't expecting to do any of that. Um, do we need to... Uh, do we need to do anything here? You? I don't know. Maybe if I just quit, click equip and then equip. What's this one? Silver Spear. Swordmaster. Oh, we can do one more level. When do we get to the next level? Level 120. So we're one, two levels off before we get the next boost. Uh, which is all allies get an additional 29k uh, HP. And yeah, okay. All right, well, hopefully that was semi-entertaining. I was not expecting myself to do that anyway, but I gave you a sneak peek into actually what the avatar cards do. Um, as you can see, we did make some progress in terms of boosting our players. Two, two of our uh, legendaries are now plus four. We will work on Dao Chan, of course, and um, yeah, hopefully that was entertaining in some point. Um, you know what? Before we go, though, I should probably do this last last thing uh, before this video goes into like overdrive. <laughs> uh, what is it? I want to go to Divine, not Divine Wings. Why do I always get confused when I do this? Gear, weapon. Rank up. I didn't really want to do that though. What I was going to do was build myself a halberd. Yeah. So we're actually going to get ourselves another legendary weapon today. Um, I need 55 of you. One more. Where are we? Wait, actually I went over. That's fine. That's fine, because we're going to upgrade you at some point anyway. So, what hero should we use that on? I like you with a crossbow. I feel like we can remove you. I feel like we can go ahead and build that one first. Not the beasts. Every single time. Every single time. <laughs> Rank up. All right, we, we got two more levels up. That's fine. And, of course, we're going to enhance you to at least 70 I'm assuming we can get to 70 on you. Uh, very close. All right. There we go. So we're actually going to give you to you. Because this one is activated off splash damage. Uh, so in bed. I wonder what I can do with you. All right, I don't want to, I'm not going to go in, I'm not going to get into that one just yet because I don't want to make a mistake. <laughs> but I think that's where you, you basically send all your epic uh, things that you no longer use to there. Um, but what do you do? So you have a chance to do 81% damage to an enemy with the highest attack and other enemies in the vicinity is a 50% chance to trigger it two times and 10% chance to trigger it three times. Uh, increase accuracy by 20% for two rounds. So basically it's like a splash damage. And it's quite nice because um, Yuji attacks everyone with his active. So it'll be interesting to see uh, lots of additional splash damage going with that. I don't believe it will uh, give additional...